welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you how to print an image with the correct ICC profile. So to print an image, go up to File, Print. Now here there is a bunch of different settings and if this is your first time printing it can be a little overwhelming and when I was first starting I had a hard time finding on the internet how to set all of these settings so hopefully this will help. So the best thing is to take everything here step by step. So starting with the printer, it may be on your default paper printer. So select your photo printer and then copies however many, one probably. Page setup, make sure you check that. There's a lot of settings in here. Now this is your printer property, so this will change depending on which printer you're using. But you'll have to go through all of these. If you're printing on a roll, a uh, CD generally be a sheet if it's just a piece of paper and then you'll pick your paper quality. You'll have to check out from the paper maker what type of paper settings to use here. They'll generally say on their website or maybe even on the box or otherwise you can guess. If it's glossy, pick a glossy. If it's a thick paper with without any gloss on it, pick a watercolor or a premium photo paper. And then your setting here, photo RPM or best photo. And then the size, portrait or landscape, if you want it standing or laying down. And then sometimes this high speed gets checked. Just uncheck it. That's if you want to do a quick proof. Gloss is puts on that shiny gloss, which is for glossy papers. If you're going to be printing on watercolor or some sort of matte paper, you won't be using a gloss. And then going over to this side, this is an important part. Put it on ICM and then it'll probably look like this. And then make sure it's on off, no color adjustment because you don't want the printer adjusting the colors. Photoshop is going to adjust the colors and then we don't want the printer adjusting them again. So no color adjustment from the printer. And then if you don't want to set all these things again every time you print, you can save the setting and then next time you come in you can just pick here I've made an A4 glossy or A4 Ilford gold fiber silk that I was using and then you'll press OK. And there's may also look like this which doesn't show you all the settings very easily so advanced and it'll give you all the options okay so click OK and then if you want the image centered that's fairly straightforward scale to fit media that's if your image is larger than a page if you're printing on an A4 and you have a larger than an A4 image you can use this to resize it down to A4 you probably want to resize it in Photoshop though and then print it at the actual size. The bounding box is just for the preview. And then color management, that's another important part. Document, keep that. And then color handling. Photoshop manages colors, this you want checked there. Printer manages colors, that's what we don't want. So keep that. Photoshop manages colors. And then printer profile, this is another important spot. If you are using a paper other than your printer, or even if you're using your printer, you may have had to install the proper color profiles. Here are the Epson ones. Sometimes they look a little bit coded, like these Epsons. They don't even say Epson, they say SPR 1800. Or the Elford ones, which are up here, they just say IGGFS. So you might have to look a little bit if you've in installed your color profiles. There's quite a few things to look through, but they should be there if you installed them. And then rendering intent. Uh, different papers use different rendering intents. They have, it doesn't actually change the image too much, but for the ones that I use, I use relative colometric and black point compensation. And that's it. Click print, and then it'll give you your choice of printer again. This should all be ready, so just click print, and then you're set to go. Hopefully that works, and your colors better match what's on the screen. Check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.